Lord of Eridurg shall change the speech in their mouths, as many as he had placed there, and so the speech of mankind is truly one. So in that passage we have two more important mentions. The first is right there at the end, the reference to mankind speaking as one, and possibly related to Enmerkar's desire to build up a mountain of a shining me, but we'll get to that. To my knowledge, this is the closest thing we have to a Sumerian equivalent to the Tower of Babel story. And knowing the prolific nature of the Sumerians, there's a good chance that this reference belies another, much more in-depth tale describing how Enlil and Anki teamed up to demolish hubristic men, building a structure with which to reach heaven and prevent future attempts at that organizational scale. A tale which otherwise only survived thanks to being carried into the Western Semitic tradition by